doing, boys? All right? Yeah, good. really good. Is this your first time to South End? No, we've we've been to South End a few times. We've actually, back in our pop star days, we played the Cliffs Pavilion, which is just along there, Did I think, you? isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you seen anybody at the Cliffs Pavilion? No. No. <laughs> you could have seen PG and Dublin back in the day. <laughs> you guys have worked with each other, yep. been mates, what, for 30 years? 30 years yeah. now, yeah. I mean, we've, we've known each other for 40, but we've never worked with each other for that length of time. It's great. It's working with your best friend. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pressure's off when there's two of you as yes. well, isn't it? Because Absolutely. you're doing it with your best mate, you're having a laugh. Ultimately, you're going to have a good day at work. Yeah. It all kind of happened by accident as well. You know, we were in Biker Grove together, yeah. and, and our character we didn't know each other, and our characters became best friends. So, invariably, we were on set together all of the time, and in between takes, we just try and make each other laugh. And we just clicked and we got yeah. on as, as pals and the characters in the show got really popular. So we got invited to do TV shows and like live and kicking and Saturday morning stuff together. That's when I first met you boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You both grew up in Newcastle. What was the food like growing up? Good British foods, you know, shepherd's pies, roasts, yeah, wholesome. Um, wholesome foods, really. My mum worked as well, so I mean, I would kind of, I'd be at home on my own with my sister, so I'd cook for her. Yeah. And you'd learn quite quickly. I'm the youngest of seven. Three brothers, three sisters. That, I mean, that's incredible uh, effort from mum and dad there. Yeah. Um, I don't think they had a TV for a that. while. There wasn't anything else to do in the evenings. But you couldn't cook. And was that because you there were the no baby of the family? Cook, I, I, ne I never had a need to. There was always somebody there to do it. What do you mean? You can't cook a thing? Oh, no, I can cook. OK. I can cook a bit. Um, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm good with your books and stuff. Here. I get, I get me little so Jamie a book recipe out. out like, and recipe out. Fine. I'm gonna follow yeah, a recipe. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't ask me to riff anything in the kitchen. Yeah. That's bad no. news. He doesn't know. When we first started living together, because we shared a flat in London when we first, when we were um, doing the music, and you, you really didn't have a clue, did you? Not a clue. He rang me once to say, "What do I do with these baked beans?" Genuinely, right? He thought you had to cook a big bead, like leave it in the oven for like four hours, a gas mark, whatever. <laughs> so have you two ever cooked together? Nah. In yeah, tandem? Kind of, well... We lived together, I've so... watched him. Yeah. yeah. And I... <laughs> I he passed okay. me stuff. I wash up. <laughs> so you guys, top presenters, obviously. Thank you. Actors. Yeah, we started off as actors, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But also pop stars. <laughs> yeah. In the loosest possible <laughs> term. No. No, we were for a while. Yeah, we were. You yeah. had a number one, right? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 19 yeah. years after we released it. Yeah. <laughs> we released Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Well, yes. Went to number nine in the charts. Then we did it for a joke on Saturday Night Takeaway. It went to number one. It was we used to dance to it. I mean, we. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you yeah. You're admitting that. Yeah, on yes. telly. But we had, we had three albums. We toured the world. And we went all around Germany. We had hits. Like, Singapore. Yeah. Singapore, Singapore yeah. Indonesia, yeah. Japan. What about the food? You must admit, it's some incredible food. You know, we didn't, didn't try. Eat a bite we, of we, it. we didn't try any of it. All the sushi, all the sashimi, nothing. We were like and so we adventurous. Like, so we were just scared of it. You thought it was like an early version of I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> well, yeah. It was, like, yeah, it was our bush took a trial. Yeah. So we were, where did you eat then? We were staying at this hotel, and we'd yeah. get the concierge to write, take me to KFC, McDonald's, whatever. <laughs> and write it in Japanese, and then on the back of it, right, take me back to the hotel, and we'd hand it to a taxi driver, they'd read it, show them, take, us, take us, to wait for us, eat. and then we'd come back. <laughs> show I them mean, the hotel terrible. and they'd take that, us back. But now I love Japanese food. That is one of the few regrets we've got of our career, is that we didn't enjoy the cuisine. Here's the thing, here's the challenge. Here we go. Here in we this go. show, yes. we go back to a moment in time. Yeah. And what we did do is go back to the same hotel we stayed in. The new Otani. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we went there, we spoke to them. Funny enough, the concierge is still there that wow. was there when you were there. There she is. So the concierge. This is Miss Kojima. Right. It's very possible that it was her that wrote that on the back oh of one of your God, bits of paper. Oh, my God, that's brilliant. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But, but thank you. Thank you.